We are here kind of right on the border of Tennessee and Kentucky, looking at the Ataya property. It's about 100,000 acres. The property is used primarily for forest management, carbon sequestration, outdoor recreation, um, and then it, of course, supports the wealth of biodiversity. To get to scale, you've got to think about conservation in a completely different way. Buying a piece of property and just locking people out is probably a non-starter. Um, we are in one of the poor areas in the nation, right? And the landscapes are part of the local culture and heritage. You know, hungry people make lousy conservationists. And so if there aren't jobs that still are relevant on the ground, then deals like this just don't work. They might work in the short term, but they'll collapse in the long term if they don't have strong local support. We see some oaks around, which is really good. We like those. There's a nice big poplar growing over here. Um, and then mixed in, there's a handful of these beech and maples and other trees that we may not be as interested in or may not be as well suited to this site. It's a huge economic driver. Everybody from um, the, the loggers in the woods cutting the trees down to the truck drivers hauling that to the sawmills to the folks manufacturing at the sawmills to the convenience store clerks that those guys stop and buy a soda pop from. Uh, it, it's a major part of the economy. To make these types of projects work from a business aspect, you really have to think of it not just from a conservation, but you've got to add a business dimension to it. One, these properties, 100,000 acres, it takes quite a bit of money coming together to be able to sort of pull a project like this together. It also has to generate revenue, and it has to have the support from local citizens and politicians, um, our state agencies and our federal agencies. So there are a lot of people that we have to work with to be successful. When we think about conservation priorities, we really are thinking about what are the challenges to nature and people? Um, where can we make uh, impact in terms of conserving our landscape, securing our water, um, and doing that to benefit people as well.